This is Craig Hogard with your Financial Issues Egg Update for November 16th. McCorn had a mixed day with the front three months slightly lower while the deferred months gained for the session in yesterday's trade. The weekly export inspections were above expectations at 33.7 million bushels. And the harvest pace continues to run ahead of the historic pace with 91% of this nation's crop now in the bin. At the close, we had December futures three quarters of a cent lower as they settled at $5.76.5. The soybean market closed higher as it was supported by the ongoing rally in the soybean meal market. The October NOPA crush numbers came in well above expectations at 184 million bushels crushed during the month of October. It's the largest October crush number since back in 2012. It was a 20% improvement over the September number. The weekly export inspections number also very good at 76.2 million bushels. After the close, we had confirmation that harvest is getting wrapped up, with the USDA reporting that 92% of the soybean crop has been harvested. At the close, we had January soybean futures 13 cents higher, ending the day at $12.57.25 per bushel. In the wheat market, we saw some pretty mixed news. Weekly export inspections came in above expectations at 14.3 million bushels, and that opened the door for Chicago and Kansas City markets to trade higher for the day. Minneapolis, on the other hand, was hit hard by a rumor that Canadian spring wheat is being delivered into the port at Duluth, Minnesota. After the close, the crop conditions report indicated that 94% of the winter wheat crop has now been planted, with 46% of it rated as good to excellent. At the close, Minneapolis December futures were 23.5 cents lower at 10.26.5. Kansas City was 3 cents better, closing at $8.36 a bushel, and Chicago futures were 9.25 cents better as they ended the day at $8.20 and a quarter cents. Cotton futures traded in a tight range. They seem to be consolidating into a sideways trading pattern. Cotton harvest continues to run along right at a historic pace with 65% of the crop now out of the field. At the close, we had March futures 44 points lower, settling at 114.64. Livestock futures all had a pretty good day. February live cattle were 22.5 cents higher, closing at $136.32.5 per hundredweight, while January feeder cattle were 75 cents better, closing at $158.47.5 per hundred. February lean hogs uh, were stronger as well. They finished up 62.5 cents, closing at $81.17.5 per hundred. Class 3 milk futures continued to leak lower. At the close, the December futures were down 13 points as they settled at 17.49. And uh, we finally had the meat cutout values all a little bit uh, lower to end the week. Choice box beef was down $1.10, closing at $2.83.20. Select boxes dropped by $2.25, ending at $2.67.28. And pork carcass cutout values surrendered ground as well. They were down 78 cents for the session as they ended up at $93.93 per hundredweight. This has been Craig Haugard with your Financial Issues Ag Update. We'll be right back with more financial issues after this.